So because I was B in alphabetical order, I was the first lineup. Maureen Reichert stands in the classroom of her past. A bittersweet moment now that the school is closed. Holy Trinity Catholic Academy. She was in their very first class in 1967, one of 63 students. We had no doors, blackboards, yes, no closets. But it's what they did have that stuck with Maureen. Strong teachers, a tight-knit community, and a lifelong commitment to her faith. It has truly formed me, this school. She even sent her two kids here, but now just a few pieces of furniture and empty bulletin boards remain, part of her forever gone. What is it like to see it like this? It's really sad. It's a, a fact of life. I know it's financial issues. Holy Trinity was one of six Catholic academies in the Diocese of Brooklyn to close on August 31st. The pandemic taking the school's final breath, decimating their enrollment and finances. This disappointing trend is being seen around the country. 140 Catholic schools have had to permanently close because of the pandemic, according to the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. They warned that hundreds more could be in danger without federal help. But Maureen, in her pastor, Father Joseph Jubino, explains for the faithful, Catholic schools are essential because they help instill a lifelong love for God. Families are the first witnesses of faith, as Maureen said. Her family witnessed the faith for her. Faculty members witness faith and dedication. What are your values? What do you really want for your child? And I always felt that that's what I wanted. I wanted the day to start with prayer and end with prayer and a lifelong community, one Maureen especially felt after losing her mom 10 years ago. All these people from Holy Trinity were there, and it's like so comforting, and I think we miss that now. Um, it's uh, So this has been my base for life. Maureen is urging all families to keep sending their children to Catholic schools. While the Holy Trinity School might now be closed, its memory and the impact it had on alumni will forever live on. In Whitestone, Queens, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.